Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Rebel State Sovereign News. Today we're talking about the Taigon-1. You've probably seen a couple other videos we've done here about this Chinese space station. Well, there's a lot of questions, and we're trying to answer them from a lot. We've discussed a lot of people, you know, different points of view online. And uh, some are in aeronautical space programs. Some are just, just regular YouTubers. Some are just regular people like you and I, you know, or whatever. But we've all come to basically the same con consensus. And we're, we're setting information from all over the globe, from different committees, different people, different organizations, private and, and public sector, state ran or country run. And uh, we're kind of all on the same ag agreeance that Taigon 1, it will be re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. It will be crashing to the Earth soon. But here's the conspiracy. I, I, and I will, I will finish up with saying this first. It's believed that it'll re-enter somewhere between the 43rd north and 43rd south latitudes. Now keep that in mind. I do have a picture here so you guys can actually see it. I've explained that um, the Taigon 1... You know, what it was, it was a payload, two-person two space station. It was there very first. The NORAD number's there for you guys to track it if you want to track it. Um, I may put some links in if it doesn't uh, uh, upset YouTube. <laughs> that NORAD number is 37820, though, in case you want to know. A lot of amateur satellite um, and just space junk junkies <laughs> have been tracking this for at least two years. Now, the conspiracy comes to this. The Chinese government, you know, in an official statement, declared that the telemetry systems of the Taigon One had ceased, based on air, um, aerospace. This, well, aerospace. I don't know if you guys know who they are. There's a corporation analysis, and uh, of the two line elements set data from the JSPOC, the last orbital adjustment for the Taigon One was made in December 2015. They didn't announce it until. 2016th, March 21st, to be official from that Chinese statement. And there was some the issues there, whether it's going to be a controlled landing or an uncontrolled landing. I think everybody's pretty much on the, on the aspect that it's going to be uncontrolled. Where it's going to land is, hmm, there we go. You have to watch the other videos for that one. And our live stream, we will be trying to live stream this as long as it doesn't land out over the, the ocean. Maybe the Chinese can... Uh, Regain control as it comes back into the Earth's atmosphere. That may be a possibility. Um, the last update prediction that China had done was uh, an announcement to the UN community on uh, peaceful uses of outer space on December 8, 2017. It was not mentioned whether the reentry was going to be targeted or remain uncontrolled. Now, it's been said before from... Chinese sources that it was going to be it was going to be postponed it was going to be postponed for the reentry and uh, in 2013 this when this this particular um, spacecraft space station was basically the end of its service it was launched in 2011 which gave it a very short lifespan and uh, it was said it was going to be reentering in 2017 yes in case you don't know there are hazard materials on board. Uh, hyd hydrazine, if you don't know what that is, stay away from it. <laughs> you don't inhale the vapors, you don't, that they may admit, you don't want to get anywhere near it. It can cause nerve damage, it can kill you. Stay away. So if this thing should crash in your backyard, take a picture from a distance, but don't breathe or get anywhere near the, this can, this can do serious damage to your liver and things like that. Just stay away from it. Don't, don't touch it. Take some pictures of it. Take some film of it. That way you can prove to your friends, yes, it landed in your yard. Good luck suing, though. <laughs> That's what your plan is. Um, you're also welcome to check out the CORDS. That's C-O-R-D-S. The www.aerospace.org. CORDS. Contacting. Dash. CORDS. Um, if you need to report the location or the sighting and description that you saw, maybe any images or videos, because I think they want to use it, too. We, we're not opposed to sharing some of our information that we have a, a team of network of YouTubers who are standing by around the globe to get as much footage of this thing as we can and actually live stream it simultaneously across several uh, channels, including this one, if at all possible. Like, there could be, 
It could, it could, it could actually go out of, you know, it could spin out of whack. Let's call it, let's call it, it lands in the Antarctic. Then it's going to take some, some guys who are down there, you know, at one of the, the, the stations to actually have hopefully some video of it. Otherwise, it may not be seen unless it's seen from space. Um, second, it may land out in the ocean. I know originally the Chinese had said that they would, they had missed the opportunity. They were going to postpone because they wanted to basically touch down base. They were going to target it. It was going to be a, a, a manned target. Well, not, I should say that it, it was going to be manned from the ground. There's going to be a targeted landing in the ocean. Um, other, um, spacecraft has landed there over, over time. Um, different countries. It's just it's just a good a point of entry if you can if you can hit that point on a spinning globe a spinning Earth, then you know it's indication there's uh there's going to be little fatalities little injuries to people or or property. I know the Chinese and, and some other some other um, articles I'd read when I was first started studying this had actually said that they were going to try to do that, but we shall see. So the conspiracy is, will it be a targeted landing, or is it a free fall? I think the consistency is, is pretty much a free fall. I'd like to know your, your thoughts on it. If you wouldn't mind, just leave some comments below what you think. If it's, if it's out of control, it's rogue, where it's going to land. Um, like I said, we think it's going to be between the 42nd south north latitude or the south of the 42nd south latitude. This is the areas. Basically, you're talking about the center of the planet. <laughs> You know, so you can rule out the North Pole and the South Pole. You know, that's why I said, you know, if it should land in the South Pole, there's not going to be anybody there really holding to probably film it. You know, or there's a lot of ocean that we have. And the, the flight path of this thing is known. This is this pretty much parallels with the flight path that it's, it's yo, uh, yo-yoing. If you, if you would picture a, a roller coaster going up and down hills and valleys, not only is it doing that around the planet, it's also doing it as it, gets closer to the planet. It's, it's actually on a roller coaster. So it, as it descends, it speeds up, and then it climbs back up like a roller coaster. Uncontrolled, as it gets closer to the Earth, the gravity's eventually going to take it on one of those, you know, up or down swings, probably on a downward motion, and pull it to Earth. Stay tuned for the live stream. This is Rebel State Sovereign, and I uh, hope you join us so that we can all track this thing and see what's going to happen. And I'm definitely curious to see your conspiracy thoughts on this, on this satellite. Um, did they intend to just put it in space for two years? You know, their first, their first space lab? This was China's first space lab. And was it tampered with? Is that, is that, is that possible? Or was it just made in China and didn't last? as some people have said. Leave your uh, comments below. Thank you so much. Much love.